How you guys doing tonight today wherever you're from in this beautiful world it's funny how i remember that this time and didn't the last time uh we have <laughs> we have, this is sour me up <laughs> that's what it's called i has a last minute call on that title um i don't know what the uh picture said on the thing so take it as your sour show. hour sour hour all right all right, so this panel, uh, we, yeah, I'm feeling a little, ooh, uh, feeling nice. So we got a nice panel here. We got Bumpy Road Brewery. We got Miscellaneous Brew Fuse. <laughs> we have Alex the Beer Master and Beer Man. Yeah. Um, we're going we're gonna to go over some. Uh, um, I had uh, recently for uh, Miscellaneous' birthday, I sent him the same glass that I have here. I think he has the same one. But we also want to have uh, some other sours up as well. So we're uh, introducing Bumpy Road Brewery, Alex, and anyone else that wants to bring up some sours uh, to try with this. Uh, I think it'll be fun. I don't think this glass is going to have anything to do with the flavor or the aroma. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Um, thank you, guys. <laughs> um, and uh, we have – oh, Beer Hams. Beer Reviews is here. What's up, Bill? How you doing, man? Cheers. Good to see Cheers, you, man. man. Oh, yeah. Um, Drunken One, of course, is here. Hell yeah, brother. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go to this. Uh, we're going to wear this. Thank you for being here, Chad. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. All right. Well, the beer that I have is from Branch and Blade Brewing Company. They're out of Keene, New Hampshire. This one's called Psychedelic Love. Into the embers, it's a sour ale that is brewed with. Well, I'm just going to read what they have written a little story of how they came across making this sour. Uh, we brewed a nice little pastry stout with Alan Matthew, custom knives, a while back, and thought the chocolate, peanut butter, pretzel, lactose, sea salt, and banana would be pretty dope as a sour as well. As it turns out, we were right. This is another sour that plays with your senses as you drink it. All the big, bold flavors of a stout, but in sour form, contains lactose. So, yes, there's chocolate, pretzel, sea salt, that bananas, and butter in the south. Yeah, that's super retarded, man. It that comes in at 5.5% ABV. <laughs> And I'll pour it, and you'll you'll see the nice coloration that it has. Very nice. <laughs> it's not a stout. They just they got the idea from a stout that they brewed with all those. Nope, it's not a stout. Yeah, dude. Damn, man. It's gonna be one of those kind of parties. <laughs> Yes, I, mean, I can tell you it smells like peanut, like peanut butter from back here. Wow, dude! <laughs> Damn, man, that looks good. That looks really good. Mm, yeah, the head on it's uh, a rocky kind of white head. There's uh, different things that are kind of stuck to the head. Uh, it's probably peanut butter. It could be bananas. I don't know. Um, it, it just it smells like peanut butter. Uh, and that head has gone away, as it does in most sours. And this beer, if I get it close enough and my camera doesn't fuzz up, I mean, there is a lot of chunky yeah, stuff. It is. Oh, yeah, I see it swirling. And it settles out swirling. to the bottom, too. So, Damn, yeah. dude. That's got that potato milk thing going. <laughs> <laughs> it's wow. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Awesome. I love the label, too. I think that's great, dude. Oh, yeah. Chocolate over the hearts. And I like pretzels. Okay, does, it, does it have pretzels in it? Did it say that it had pretzels in it? Chocolate, peanut butter, pretzel. Yeah. Yeah, so pretzel. 
Oh, it yeah. looks delicious. I will tell you that legendary it sounds good. Wrote. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I love peanut butter beer, so don't get me wrong. <laughs> well, cool, man. Um, yeah. all right, thank you, Bumpy. Um, we're gonna go into miscellaneous. We got Nick Gore here and, and Paul and Beer Hounds, Paul, uh, Bill. Nice. Cheers, man. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Paul, Bill, and uh, what, yeah. he goes by King Gore now, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So right here we've got from um, local craft beer company out of – damn, that print is small. I can't read it. It's so small. I shit you know. Can't read it. Um, yeah, and them in uh, Urban South. So this is called a Amagard uh, Slurshy. This is a um, – Pink guava, pomegranate, raspberry, strawberry, and raspberry ice cream fruited slushy sour at 6% ABV, 5 IBUs. Get that, get that shit moving in there. Oh, it's jumping out of the can. Shit. Oh. <clears throat> That's a crazy glass, dude. <laughs> Wasn't that? It's just jumping out of the. You want to talk about a murky looking? That so much looks like gray water. Oh, that sure does, my friend. And that looks like a, a cool it's got glass. A reddish, it's got a reddish hue to it, but it's very murky and crazy looking. Got the puree up there. Legendary Andrew, it looks like you have a cool glass there too. If unless it's just yeah, my courtesy of uh, the beer man got it for me for my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's good. Looks pretty pretty good. Um, I, high looks like high effervescence. I see a bunch of tiny small streaming bubbles coming up from the bottom of the glass. Yeah, hard to hard to say. Got a. Get a paper towel, but yeah, definitely looking forward to drinking this one. Nice. We're right up yeah. the same alley with Bumpy, even though his yeah, it light is. and mine looks. I think if I turn the light up, it might look a little better. The can art doesn't show up real good. I got my ring light too high. I'm looking for. I want to see what you guys have to say. Oh yeah. Um. Well, cool, man. Thanks, Miscellaneous. Uh, let's get to Alex here. All right. All right. Well, it's the same beer I've had earlier, but it doesn't matter. I have um, hard ro rose seltzer, very delicious beer from it's Imperial. It's, it's an Imperial. Uh, oh, yeah, you uh, said, yeah, you're right, because you had the back of it. Seltzer. It's an imperial um, sour, raspberry sour, modest man. That is the name. If you go to Modest Man, please check it out. It's a very delicious beer. Hope to one day go there. And oh, get some Bumpy's beer. Alley. It is. <laughs> it is because it's near Bumpy, and uh, hoping to go there and get New England IPAs. Uh, Bumpy was actually surprised I didn't get it, so I promised myself I will do that. Uh, I will definitely get this again along with the New England IPAs and possibly mix it up. Nice. Uh, hoping. Uh, is it going to taste good? I don't know. A sour New England IPA I mean, with um, raspberry. Might taste good. You never know. You won't know until yeah. I try it. So it just, uh, looks like a, kind of like a hazy, you know. No, you can't see anything. Like a reddish color. Pink guava, pomegranate. Yeah. Raspberry, strawberry, and raspberry ice cream. Are you talking oh about this boy. beer, Andrew? I'm confused. Yeah. Pretty no, much what it looks like. Like. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, I, I have to say you do know everything. That's what I like about you. So, um, yeah. Smells like a raspberry. Deliciousness. And I'm assuming they make real fruit. Let's say Bumpy, uh, if you can give me a hint, hint on that. Do they make, uh, They. I'm assuming they put Real fruit to this, right? Yes. I don't know. I don't recall. 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, You're supposed to yeah, I had that beer once. I mean, I... Well, I was asking you because you know everything when it comes I, to these I kind of beers. for you. Okay. Good. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming... Does it, does it say fruited pure, a few fruited sour on the side? And I uh, mean, it could be an addition of like of of just flavors rather than juice or well, pureed the, juice or well, the legendary bump. He's looking it up. I mean, I have a hard time seeing this kind of stuff. You oh, know? right. So the legendary bump. He's looking it up and uh, to see. I think it is puree. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not I hope sure. they don't put artificial flavors. <laughs> I hope not either. I hope not either. <laughs> Yeah, we'll find out in a second. But beyond that, this beer. Let's see what this tastes like. Has that tart, sour, raspberry uh -huh. flavor. It does, taste, that, huh? it does taste like a real fruit, but we'll find out in a second from Legendary Bumpy. So, yeah, I mean, I love it. I wish I could have more of this, which... Might happen in due time. I don't know when. But like I said, I'll be uh, getting new in one IPAs as well from there because Bumpy was surprised that I got the sour and not the new one IPAs. So I think next time I'll do that so I can mix them up now since Mr. Uh, Beer Man gave me the idea mixing some stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I've mixed stuff up before with ice cream and all that. And all right. There's, there's nothing, Alex, on their website or on untapped that states anything except for it being an imperial um raspberry sour oh okay so they're not so they might use real fruit and they might not so it's a possibility okay so we don't know all right it, is there a glaze or a crustiness around the edge of it like like maybe from puree or anything like that or well, yeah you see no, the, see that looks more like flavoring possibly like they just put like the juice flavoring or or again, Bumpy, I mean, again, beer man, you you are a king, man. You are. Oh no, I, I don't. I, I'm just going off my thoughts. I don't know. Yeah, you might be right though. Yeah. It might be puree. I, I like I'm a puree. Saying. Like puree. Like looks like. See how this is. See how that's all like. Ugh. Right. It's just straight up like grossness. That's like puree. So yours is more clear. No, Ours might be more of glass. A, yeah. Yeah. Right, that's not I a mean, fruit. It's a, like a puree. So it'd be more of a juice addition or to the secondary, maybe. Or, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna have to, um, unless you're doing next time around. I don't know, but I don't know what you're doing, beer man. Um, I haven't done this in a while with you. Are you doing next time around? You want me to do the uh, rating? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't even know what happened. I forgot. I was just going with the flow. Uh, oh. We we could just continue reviewing. Did, okay. did Bumpy review his haul? I no. don't know. I've read. Oh, no. Let's just get All right. Let's show it to I, You got me when I'm buzzed, dude. Yeah. Um, no, let's get All right. So next time around, I'll tell you the rating. All right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, let me get my slate. Is up here. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Alex. Right You're welcome. Well, man, you haven't gone yet. Oh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. What did I do already? Oh, yeah. Nothing. Here. <laughs> that was last show. Oh, it's right here, dude. Oh, dude, you know what You know what I appeared to be like at the moment? Was that guy on Cheech and Chong where he goes and smells the back of his truck and the cop does and he goes up and he says, what do you want? <laughs> Can I have your hot dog? <laughs> no, I was not oh, yeah. right now, dude. Sorry. I'd up in smoke. All right, so let's uh, let's pour this. This is um, triple berry pie, and we're we're not doing the review, right? I totally got lost. Uh, you're still it's your yeah. We're pouring and showing, and then it's coming back. Right? Okay, I got lost. Okay, uh, this is a slang juice <laughs> slang juice or this triple berry pie. Uh, it's a sour a la mode by Drecker. That's good. Um. Did you guys? Did you have yeah, this? Yeah, I had that. Okay, that okay. See, I don't know if I, have, I haven't had this. It had the red, white, and blue in it, and all that stuff. So I was like, I've never seen like red, white, and blue, but it does have some lavender and all that. Um, I don't know what the. 
percentages. Seven. Seven. Let me give it a shake. Let's see. That's good. Poured in the wrong glass, too. Yeah, I didn't have time. <sighs> no worries. Cheers, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, there we go. <laughs> I forgot, dude. Damn it. Um, so this looks good. It's got a little pinchy <laughs> section to like pinch your fingers it. on there. Three session, dude. <laughs> it's nice. It looks uh, a lot like the blueberry one, or like a ra like a raspberry blueberry, or some kind of blackberry blueberry color. Um, got a great head. Got a great head on there. I mean, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. A uh, little rocky, bubbly, uh, pebbly. Can't see through it. Opaque. Crazy ass glass. Cinnamon vanilla coming through. Like the last one, I, they, I think they all, is this a Jujuru too? Yes, it is. Yep, they all have a cinnamon vanilla. A little bit uh, like a sweet tart thing going on, tartness, sweetness. Very nice. Um, good retention, damn. Medium rising bubble, looks thick. All right, I'm looking into that. I'm looking uh, forward to this. So I kind of got a little spastic on you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to go back to, yeah, we're back to normal again. Uh, let, let's go back to. <laughs> All right. So this beer it separates. It makes sense. So there's a separation. I think it's I think it's the peanut butter and stuff. It kind of, it's lighter at top. It's not really showing up on camera. As it's I can like see separated. it. It looks like there's a bunch of sediment in there. Yeah. It, it all falls out. Um, so I can't even, I, I have too much in here. I can't even mix it back together, but yeah. Peanut butter galore on the, uh, aromas. You can kind of smell a little bit of this like sour note to it. Maybe a little bit of banana. Um, anything else? I'm not getting chocolate notes or, or any of that, but uh, it's mostly peanut butter and just a, a little slight hint of of what kind of smells like banana. All right, well, cheers, cheers, man, cheers. God, I don't want to go, but I got I got pee. Go for it. <laughs> All right, now I'm mixing it more. Uh, whoa. Oh, <laughs> All right. So, um, you trip, Bumpy. I legendary like Bumpy became more legendary. <laughs> but it, it would be funny, but not funny, because then the beer would be wasted if it broke. So. Yeah. I, and it would be all over my laptop, too. Yeah, um, so it would not be good. Go ahead, Bumpy. The, yeah, the body on this one, uh, it's kind of in the medium realm. I, I just moved it around. So now I think I'll get more of the kind of chunkiness from the peanut butter and stuff in there. But uh, it's kind of on a medium realm, realm on the body. Uh, slight drying. It's not It's not super drying. Uh, peanut butter, for sure, on the flavor. Uh, a little tiny, tiny catch of like salinity of the, of the sea salt. Very, very, very light. Um, so maybe that's coming more from like the pretzels, if, you know, the salted pretzels. Mm. There's all the gooey peanut butter type thing going on. A lot more peanut butter when you keep it stirred up. When it starts to separate, the beer itself has, um, it's almost like a mango sour. It's more like a mango, mango fruited flavor, um, and, and it's kind of like it's got like a a sourness. It's not super super sour, but yeah, when the peanut butter and stuff's all mixed in, it's got a lot of peanut butter flavor. Um, I 
Damn, nice slicing. There's a little bit of, uh, once again, that kind of uh, banana. It almost tastes like like a fake banana, though. Like, it's not kind, not really like runts, like you get the banana runts. So it's not like a, not like that kind of like chalky candy banana, but it's kind of the, it tastes kind of like a fake banana almost, like, like laffy taffy. Yeah, like a laffy taffy type thing. It's oh. it's very faint, but that's kind of the note that I'm kind of getting. Um, the Just peanut butter tastes like runs. peanut butter. Uh, definitely, they're I'm sure they're using that that PB two or whatever it is that powdered peanut butter. That's what a lot of brewers do when they do peanut butter beer so yeah when like that's what they're doing um just leaving all that lovely lacing on the glass there with all the peanut butter puree mm. oh this is a thick one mm. sure is once again there's no there's no chocolate flavor to this at all and what brewery is it from bumpy branch and blade never heard of it yeah they're right down the street from modest man well, next time I'll go there. Then I didn't. I, I I didn't know that there was another brewery down there. So I'll this one, uh, when I first, this is my second time having this beer. Oh, and it's it's definitely more enjoyable now than it was when I first tried it because it was just yeah, getting getting through that kind of peanut butter and sour note. It's like it was kind of like soured peanut butter at first, and uh, but then as I started getting that kind of like real mango type flavor note in there so that that's kind of pleasant so it is it is it, it has a fruity side to it did you see mango yeah there's like a mango flavor a peanut so i don't know if they had like a a sour that just kind of tastes like mango that they added all this stuff to hey, you know what's funny is i i like uh mango sherbet with peanut butter yeah. It's really good. I don't know. I always put peanut, like you would peanut butter chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. I like to put that with uh, mango sherbet. It's yeah. really good, man. Hmm. The mango's not mentioned anywhere on it, but that's the flavor I'm getting. So Wait a minute. There's no mango name or mention on the can. That's shocking. Yeah. Like I said, I think they had like a base, maybe a base sour that they just added all this extra goop to. Oh, so there's, wow. a, so there's probably original base yeah. which is the mango beer sour and then you got the mango peanut that's butter. just what i'm that's just what i'm kind of guessing i don't yeah that's what it sounds like you don't know for a fact but it yeah. sounds like that yeah sounds good but yeah i'll come uh I'll come back with a, a score on this like i said i'm enjoying it a lot more now than i did the first time i had it and i i think i definitely enjoy it more than my wife huh <laughs> I mean, my then my wife enjoyed the beer. I'm not saying I enjoyed the beer more than I enjoyed my wife. Well, okay, <laughs> well, what, what did she not like about it, man? <laughs> what did she not like about it, though? It's like, just too, the peanut, the peanut butter, and the sour. She couldn't do. Oh, it. okay. Wow, hmm. crazy. She was, like, she was like, it tastes like peanut butter that went bad. <laughs> it's just like Paul says. Yeah, uh, banana peanut butter on mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it doesn't it, seem it, like it in a sour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not super super sour, but it, it does have that kind of all that phosphorus, note. yeah, <laughs> or whatever the hell's in bananas. Um, yeah, cool, man. That well, it looks freaking good. Potassium. It's, uh, or potassium, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's uh, that's a nice looking beer, though, dude. That looks oh, like God. a great beer. Um, well, thanks, Bumpy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's let miscellaneous up. All right, all right, so yeah, it's still um, pretty effervescent. Oh wow, and geez. Sounds like Rice Krispies going off when you just pour milk into them. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more red in color, almost like a grayish red. Does look murky for sure. Um, so yeah, this is supposed to have pink guava, pomegranate, raspberry, strawberry, and raspberry ice cream. Um, on the nose, I definitely pick up raspberry and strawberry. Pomegranate, I don't know. But this pomegranate doesn't have a smell. I've had like raw, like the pomegranate, the fruit, you bust it open, then you eat the stuff off the seeds. It really doesn't have a smell, in my opinion. Um, no, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Pink lava. 
it does have a bit of a guavaness to it. It's underneath the, the, the raspberry and the strawberry, but it's there. Um, ice cream. It does have like a, a sweet lactose type of nose on it, but it's got that. It's got a nose like a, a pH where it's still going to have some tart kick to it. I mean, raspberries, strawberries, and pomegranate or tart fruits. I don't know. We're going to find out. The most interesting beer I have in the fridge right now. So cheers, guys. Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> it's weird. It's almost got like um like a little warming to it for being like six percent. I don't know if that's because I mean these things can ferment afterwards in the can some. They're not sitting around at the right temperature, so but <clears throat> it's weird that it's six percent. It's got a tad bit of booziness for a sour aspect, you know. Um, wow. So I'm definitely picking up those fruits. Guava is real prevalent in the taste. Strawberry is usually a lighter note. It's in the background. Raspberry kind of steals the middle of the show. Um, pomegranate. I mean, between the other three, between the raspberry, the strawberry, and the guava, there's a real red fruit, like tartness going on here. And... I mean, like I said, I've had pomegranate, real pomegranate, not just pomegranate juice or whatever. Tried the fruit, and I guess you could say that that's there. It's really hard to discern because you've got so many red berries mixed together, and raspberries so tart. Pomegranate can be tart. Guavas, either or. I don't know. Um, does have a nice. It's not really dry finish. Definitely a, definitely a thick, full-bodied sour, and it's prickly. Everbescence is fantastic in this. It is a little gritty. Um, I mean, it's obviously, it's, it's pureed. You could see all that sticking in there. It's just pulpy. Um, this is very tasty. This is, I can't remember. I think I did have one product from Urban South before, but it wasn't a collab. Never had anything from a local brewing or local craft beer, but these guys seem to know what they're doing. It's a pretty good collab. I think it's on point with the style and the new craze that's going on with these things, and it's it's only going to get crazier for sure. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, these are awesome. If you guys can find any style of this, give it a try. Even if you're not real big into like lack or like really, really sour things, this is kind of balances out with the fruit. So. Yeah. I so far I like the yeah. sour beer. I might get some more. The pureed ones. Yeah, I, I, I like uh Ale thank you, miscellaneous. Yeah, the pureed ones. Alex, hello. Um, I like the pureed ones though. I like the uh the meatiness of them, I like their tartness. They're not as sour as a Berliner Weiss, where you're going vin vinegar and uh, apple cider vinegar forward. You know this that, so it's 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 a little easier to tolerate. But yeah, go ahead, Alex, Alex, Alex. It's all you, man. It's all Thank you, my friend. Um, I'm gonna have to say, you're in. Uh, I don't know where new. I don't know where Modest Man is. It is in Boston. Came in. Uh, is King, New Hampshire. King, New Hampshire. So Keen. There you go. What is it? Keen. I like clean, but. Oh, look. Keen. 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 New Hampshire. Yep. Keen. I'm keen on that idea. Yeah. Either keen. way, um, just look up. I'm trying to listen to these. I'm trying to listen, but sometimes it <laughs> throws me off. But yeah, I'm trying to listen it because it sounds like. Clean, like clean, but I'm just so used to. Mm -hmm. All right, it is what it is. Um, just go to that place. Just look up 
Uh, Modest Man, and I'm pretty sure the name Keen or Keen will come up. And if you go to Modest Man, try I, I can't tell you about the new one I because I still need to do that. But I will tell you the sour beers are delicious. So stop by at, at Modest Man. Uh, eat, I don't know, I'm not bad at eating because we uh, just drank beers there. But um, just go there. Sat down, drink some beer uh, if you like it. The uh, fridger is right behind you normally because uh, when I was there, the fridger was right behind you. That's how I found these cans. <laughs> so um, if you see any of the New England IPAs or this beer, please do. But I, like I said, I cannot tell you about New England IPA on that brewery because I still need to try their beers on New England IPA version. But yeah, the sours been good. John and Ellie said they're great. So did drunk on. So grab the sour beers, please, including you, Andrew. If you if you go to New Hampshire or whatever. Bumpy's feeling generous. Well, just saying, I'm not I'm not feeling generous <laughs> at all. Just stop these. Just go to, go to that brewery and get this beer or any of the beers. They're good so far. Cheers. And uh, one of these days when I grow up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then we can also hang out too, Andrew. <laughs> uh, um, so, um, you going to uh, Modest Man and wherever Bumpy got that beer from? Yeah, well, I'll go. I'll hunt down all the breweries. I don't care. I, 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 I love Massachusetts and Boston. They've been, they were kind to me. I like that. They were good people. So, um, so far, so grab this beer while you can, and. Um, we're going to uh, – Stout Sunday is on Anelli's channel. Um, you know, just bring your stouts. And if you don't know John and Nelly, just look up Georgia Beer Reviews, which is 1030 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. You can Google and he comes up. Yep. And then my food Friday will be cake, chocolate cake and stouts at – what's it called? 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, and then in the, in the evening, and then at, what's it called, at 8 o'clock Sunday night, I will be doing After Dark Beers. So, bring your After Dark Beers. If you don't understand After Dark Beers, I will let the legendary Bumpy explain that, because that's really his show. They bring a dark beer, malt-based, 18 you. SRM or better is preferred. It could be a stout. It could be Bumpy's anything. Not there, so I just. Oh no, but it's his Alex show. discretion. That's his show, though. I, I have respect for him. Um, just like if it was your show, Andrew, I have respect for you. I want to make sure I do it right. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, bring a stout. Bring whatever you want on uh, after dark beers. Wants the malt base dark beer. So very eight nice. o'clock Eastern. Very Saturday. nice. Yes. That's very nice, yeah. very nice, very nice. I believe, I believe that hop I used was Zeus. Zeus. Oh, or Zy 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 uh, Zythos. Zythos. Yeah, Zy Zythos. That sounds familiar. Awesome. And thank you, Beer, yes. thank you, Beer Man, for letting me join. I mean, oh, you're very welcome, dude. It's been fun having you on here, man. <laughs> it's been a, I'm, everyone's getting buzzed by now, yeah. Um, all right, so <laughs> hey, Beer Man. Hey, Beer Man. Hey, Beer Man. I have the rest of this after that. <laughs> oh, good, dude. Drink that, dude. It's getting all fucking room temp, dude. You better put that in the fridge. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in the fridge. You're right. You win. Just for a little bit. All you right. Win. So <laughs> it's on you, what? man. Is it me? Oh, okay. All I'm right. So you better too. Um, hey man. Did we do review? No, it's your time to shine. Oh, it's, it's your time, time to shine, shine on you okay. crazy diamond. Oh shit. Okay, so we went for the smell. Cinnamon, uh, cinnamon vanilla is the big kick there with a lot of these Dijure ones. Um, or a la mode Dijure, yeah. Um, but you're getting the, uh, you're getting like raspberry, blackberry kind of um, strawberry. Yeah, it's just very berry forward. It's got a berry look to it as well. And I mean, these glasses actually hold quite a punch in the aromatics. With the small nose, it's kind of nice. Holds in a lot of shit. Even some alcoholic comes through. That's weird. Like it smells like rubbing alcohol, um, which is strange. Um, 
Not in a bad way, though. Okay, let's drink this. We already looked at it. I almost smelled it again. So hold on. It's hard. These are different glasses. I almost. Do I snort it? I'm just kidding. Snort it. <laughs> it's soft. It's tart. It's sweet. It's got a very nice, smooth, um, creamy feel to it in the mouthfeel for a lactic acid forward beer. Um, the, the puree is really nice. It's kind of zingy, has a kind of a zingy uh, zestiness to it. Um, kind of a vinegar forward thing, uh, uh, like a good uh, fruited uh, yogurt, vanilla yogurt or something like that. Kind of tastes like vanilla yogurt in a way with some cinnamon. It's got all the berries. Raspberry black, I think raspberry blackberry strawberries is, is what's in this one. It's got some heat, some spice in the back. I'm getting some weird uh, lactic kind of acidy like uh, throwback, uh, like that of like throw up or something like that, like that feel. You know mm. what I mean? It's not throw up, but uh, but it's got that feel. Um, it's a strong beer, you know. It's got a dryness to it as well with that strength. It's got some alcohol running through it, uh, through the, the sinuses as well. Um, it's been, it had some time to sit, so that that's brought some things out, like the alcohol, like the flavors, like the zestiness. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been nice. This has really encapsulated a lot of things. I want to I want to do some more beers with this particular glass, even some IPAs, because I really like how it holds things in. It's like a volcano. Um, Go on Pinterest and get this fucker for twenty five fucking dollars. No, it's a really good. It's it's worth it. It's a worth it glass. Put it that way. Let's all have a panel with the same glass. You'll understand what I'm saying. That would be cool. Same glass, but then I would have to. Uh, there, it, yeah, this is moderately priced. The sky's uh, the limit. It's only I mean, for one though. I mean, you only get one fucking they, glass. They I wish they'd give you two. Of them. I think. I, yeah, uh, this is. I'm pretty sure this is hand blown. Yeah, I'm blown. Um, I just like the encapsulation of it. Glass? Where, where'd you get that glass? Because obviously you gave it Pinterest. 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 And look, look up sour ale glasses mm. on Pinterest. Juice, juice on or yep. Sour ale glasses. How to take a look. Beer glass. Um, very nice, so drinkable. Very thick. Got a lot like a nice lathering thickness to it. <laughs> kind of like coats the mouth. Overall, very good beer, though, and I'm very impressed. I've always been impressed with these guys. I haven't had this one yet, and this is really good. This is probably probably one of my favorite ones, actually, right now. I liked how that one actually had, some, had the, not bad. Like some tartness to it. Yeah, that tart zing. It wasn't like all no, zesty or something. Sweet, I don't know. Some, you, you know, Josh says it. Yeah. Um, if you've had the style of beer, sometimes they're more – they they classify them as sours, but they're more like on the sweet side, right? Yeah, like a dessert, I, I did like that sour one. or something. Yeah, that this one got a good rating. The 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 pie crust, like that that graham crackery. You do get the graham cracker. Yep, Thank it's not like it, it's got yeah. that on like almost like a a bready type of thing to it. Yeah. With the cinnamon is good. It's not like it's diced like buttery. Like yeah, you get that. Crust. No, it's it's not a buttery. Uh, it's just it's just like just a dry. nice fried feel or fried dry like kind of crust or something like. It's like it's, it's just flaky, like that flaky yeah. crust or something like a weird flaky pie crust. I don't know. It's it's really good. It's really good. This is really good. The cinnamon adds a really nice influence to this. The uh, and the vanilla. There's a vanilla uh, kind of thing going on. Um, it's not bad. Not bad. All right. Um. So let's go to let's go to in my Santa like a Canadian. All right. <laughs> let's go to oh, bumpy beer, man, your trip. Yeah. Bumpy time. All right. My lights are flickering. <laughs> I check. I paid. I paid the electric bill. I paid the bill. <laughs> the bulb is probably just about to die. Um, being on all the time. So, so you get this um, psychedelic love. Let me tell you, first uh, first impressions. Uh, I did not love this beer. Then it <laughs> grew on me. 
like a psychedelic trip. It finally kicked in. And, Good. Um, and, and it just all seems to actually work together uh, with the peanut butter. And I mean, there's no there's no chocolate flavor in this, but I'm glad because I think that there's chocolate. It might have been off. Um, so I'm going to give this beer a 96 out of 100 because wow. it is it is a decent drinker and it and it's odd and it and it just oddly works. So um, it's not super super sour either. It's not super sweet. It's it's a a peanut butter banana mango treat. <laughs> yeah. Um, we doing uh, shout outs and stuff at all? Are we doing that? Oh yeah, or? yeah, uh, yeah. You could. Uh, I had one question about this. So you said chocolate. So you didn't get. Uh, I don't know if I heard that. You didn't get chocolate or what? What was? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's no chocolate in the aroma. There's no chocolate in the palate. No. Did they, they mention stout, that? They chocolate? took a stout and puree fruited it. So, I mean, if you add yeah. any kind of, I don't know, what would you add to that cacao nibs? It's going to be dark. Right. Or you really, I don't know, like the color on it, I think, is what they were trying to avoid for the. Right, right, right. Like chocolate, you know, what do you. Yeah. Do? Or chocolate flavoring. Yeah, I mean, yeah, cacao nibs typically would be. White chocolate might have worked, but white that's chocolate. not real. That's not yeah. real chocolate. But yeah, um, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting beverage, man. It sounds sure. good. <laughs> It'd be worth trying for sure. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe they put chocolate covered pretzels in it. Maybe that's because, I mean, the pretzels oh, right. could work. Maybe that was it. And I mean, those are lightly chocolate. So it's yeah. going to be a whole bunch of chocolate going in. Nice. All right. Cool, man. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, shout out your, your shit, your stuff. Hell so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo shit. Uh, <laughs> just uh Malty Monday uh coming up is going to be the American light adjunct lager. Uh, oh well wow, they snuck it in, huh? Easy enough. So, yep, so that one uh I'll I'll put out a video tomorrow um just saying exactly what I just said and then um if anybody needs <laughs> A link if there's a link available from Beer Advocate for that. I'm not sure if there is or not, but um, if there is, I'll I'll just put that into the. You have to the, go to the store, store and buy a light, any kind yeah, of. Yeah, pretty much go to any gas station around, or I don't know how each state works with their beer laws, but so light logger. I mean, come on, if you can't find a a light logger, then the world Bud is in light. trouble. Come on, <laughs> it's it's like one of the most popular. Make sure it's a lager. Beer though. beverage. American lager. light yeah, lager. Yeah. So like a post-prohibition light lager. Not a, yeah, it's got to have adjuncts in it. Not a right. light ale. Yeah. Lager. <laughs> and not a light beer. That's one that's Ronnie S. has been on that kick tonight. Is it just a light beer? Right. Oh, <laughs> That's lager. Got to have yeah. some adjuncts in that son of a bitch. It's one or the two. It can only be two things. It's either an ale or a lager. It's not right. that complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it's really that cut and dry. I mean. Yeah. Let's do it. So, Sounds yeah. good. So that's that. And then it's, uh, no, uh, I dropped the video today. I'll drop that video tomorrow for the, for the multi Monday thing. And then, uh, Friday I'll drop another video for my 50 point inspections. And Sunday night, I will not be. I will not be here. I will not be on the webs. So um, Alex is gonna do the uh, after dark beers on his channel. So be there for that, and uh, he'll run it however he wants to. But I mean, everybody should still bring a dark beer. Don't yeah. let somebody yeah. don't let somebody bring on. A, American light adjunct blogger. Don't take advantage of the substitute <laughs> teacher. Tell them to save her for, the, for Monday. No, it, 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 yeah. has to, it has to be the way Bumpy wants it and the way I would like it uh, yes. based off of Bumpy, which will be, it has to be like a dark uh, malt <laughs> base. 
not just any beer. It has to be dark. dark Let's all be adults here. <laughs> not yeah. mean, but I'm correct on that, right, Bumpy? It has if, to I, be yeah, if I start here and, well, Alex let me do it last time. <laughs> No, so, yeah, there's no, there's no ESBs in the stat room. No, there's not going to be any specialty. You have to no, be, ESBs you have to, room. on my, if it's, my channel has nothing to do with Bumpy or anybody other YouTube, other YouTubers, then yeah, I'll do, I'll do special stuff. But if it's something to do with my YouTube friends, I will do it the way they have done it, which is what Bumpy has done. The, it has to be malt base it could be a dark beer but it has to be malt base all right and remember you have to be raunchy too raunchy i don't know what that yeah. means but be a little raunchy yeah yeah it's a little dirty a little potty oh. be dirty oh. <laughs> bring be a party fellow kind of guy you know what i mean <laughs> oh, i love it i love you Bobby. keep it up oh my god help me well, man, thank you, man, and uh, congratulations with your anniversary as well. Yeah, it's always a great feat. So to, you know, it's not a challenge. You know, it's just nice yeah, to have. You just, that. You just gotta survive for a year, right? <laughs> each, each and every year. Yeah. <laughs> no, but your 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 wife seems great, and uh, no, you guys are great. So cheers to you, man. Right on. Cheers. Thank Thanks you for man. having me on. Yeah, yeah. No, dude. Thank you. Thank you for being. here. Um, all right, so let's uh, <laughs> that's what purees do. Oh, yeah, that's what puree <laughs> looks like. Let's give Miss Lynn uh, something. All right, right so for the uh, Amagard Slurshi, the collaboration from local craft beer in urban south Houston, Texas, because they have two locations. Um, I kind of like, I this one, I think the fruit the fruit notes are there. Um, you're getting all the the raspberry, the pomegranate, strawberry. Um, I said it had a bit of a gritty texture. It's the strawberry seeds. I'm chewing on strawberry seeds that are coming out of this one. That's oh. that's that that that's that hefty grit. It wasn't like a like a yeasty or anything like that kind of chalkiness. It, it's a bit gritty. So, um, yeah. Um, qualities on this one, I mean, it was kind of sweet up front, more of a sweeter, but then mid to the end of the finish, um, it did tarten up. Like I said, it's got a lot of tart fruits in it. it. Smells very tart up front, which is the opposite on the palate. Drinks a little bit sweeter up front, then you get the <coughs> bit of that tartness, but Overall, pretty good beer. Is this the best beer that I've had or outstanding for this style? It's pretty good, but it's it's not the best one. Um, this is it's this can't. I don't think this is as good as Drecker. Um, not all of their stuff, but it. Or Untitled Arts or some – they got some of these companies that are doing stuff. RAR, Imprint, uh, Mortalis. Um, yeah. I feel comfortable putting this at, at a 93. It's still really good. I thought this was the best one I had in the fridge. I could be wrong. I'm still sitting on two bangers. I've got one from Wells Work. They're uh, – their cheesecake one, and then I've got a collab from Great Notion and Trippin' Animals that I'm sitting on too. So, yeah, I don't know. Urban South has um, some pretty tasty stuff. I've seen some of their beers on OG and all that, and they, they look really good. So, um, yeah, to finish, shout out wise, um, got a, two boxes of beer coming in the mail. Um, just got the notification bell on. I'll do a live stream for that. Um, other than that, I've got my 2021 Pocky One Chip Challenge coming in the mail. Um, 
it's supposed to be hotter than last year's. Keep your eyes peeled for that. If you haven't seen that video, it's on my other channel, Miscellaneous Magnets. You can go through there on my live streams, and it's there, my Pocky One Chip Challenge from 2020. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. Um, I think that's it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I want to do the Pocky Chip Challenge. I'm, I feel like yeah, I can do yeah. it now, finally. <laughs> I, mean, I will tell you this. Yeah. Uh, it, it is. Hot. Alex, there's a new one. It's hotter. I already I bought it. It's hotter. It's coming in the mail. Oh, I don't know, man. So do you okay. want me to try it again so I can have a well, I don't want you. you do whatever you want. You can go on Amazon. It costs you $7. There Get you it go. now while it's cheap. Tell you that. Amazon. Uh, Amazon. What and what do you mean it's hotter? And you also told me that it's not uh, black anymore. So no, it's not. Roger, cheers, it's, man. It's red and furry looking. Oh, oh God. This is nasty. <laughs> well, uh, miscellaneous, thank you, man. Appreciate it, I'm, man. You have a, I might yeah, try yeah, it, but uh, oh, yeah. you might have to get it again. You have a good night, too. I'm not buying it for you. It's, it's $7. You can buy it yourself. I'm saying if you decide to do it and you have already done it, would you get it again to do it with me? You have to buy me a chip. Yeah. Because oh, you owe me. Seven dollars, dude. I owe you. Wow. I you <laughs> Get him a hotter chip, man. Well no, that's the hottest chip there some. is. That chip right there. Well, there's no <laughs> there's another oh, one above that, Alex. <laughs> Oh, there is? I didn't know that. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We'll talk about so, it <laughs> Thanks, guys, man. Uh, we got Rod J in the house, man. Thanks for being here, brother. Oh, yeah, man. Good to, Always good to see you. Um, Red and Fury. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Thrash Live. Hell, yeah, dude. What's up, Brian? Um, Raphael, man. Good to have you here. Uh, very good to have you here, man. Uh, thanks for stopping. Yeah. Sky. Stopping, boy. Thanks for stopping by. I'm just trying to kind of make sure I take care of everyone. Joe, what's up? He's back there. Wow. JV. All right. Now I'm going to give my last words. Um, so are you on vacation, Rod? Um, yeah, this beer, this beer is phenomenal, man. I mean, blackberry, strawberry, freaking vanilla, cinnamon, you name it, man. Graham crackers. I'm looking at the wrong beer because I've been in like so many freaking – Live streams tonight. Um, <laughs> this was good too. But I mean, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, granola, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, even lactose, and vanilla beans. That is an extraordinary lineup. And to be quite honest, everything kind of lined up very well, um, as they always do. Um, very nicely, very nicely done. Um, just a great sour, great flavors, great body, great mouthfeel, great drinkability. Um, I'm going to give this a 98. I thought it was amazing. I, I really do. And I, I've, I've, I have had several of these so far and I, I, I would love to try the ones that miscellaneous has had with the freaking, uh, Star Wars theme and all that. What's that company again? What's that? All right. Yeah, R-A-R. Oh, my God, dude. I would love to try theirs, um, but, and I'm yet to. But the, from what I've tasted so far, these fruited pureed sours are just amazing, especially with the granola and even a brown sugar, kind of a deeper sugar kind of uh, relation there, you know, very nice. Um, and just the vanilla, the sweetness of the fruits, everything. Uh, it's a different beer, and it's not like your typical "Hey, Germans are gonna like it" kind of beer. But um, <laughs> this is the this is America, so and uh, we're allowed to do what we want to do here. Uh, and this is um, this is a good beer, so uh, I'm down with it. Um, yeah, nine. What did I get? Ninety eight. So beer and cheese uh, again. Uh, I've said it twice tonight. But uh, bring a, whatever you want. It's an open table, 8 o'clock Eastern. Wednesday will be another, and it will continue for at least two months or more. We'll see. Um, it seemed like it went well, but the beer mixer, and we'll do that. Bring a beer, a couple beers that you think will go together and mix it up. Have a couple glasses aside, have a main glass, and come on up. 
Hell yeah. Let's do it. Uh, kind of a fun time. So 6 o'clock Eastern. And, uh, you know, this 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 night's been covered, man. This is a, this has been a great night tonight uh, for us beer goers in this community. So uh, much good. love to my panel, uh, <laughs> our panel. This is our panel. I will um, tell you. I will so, tell you. I will tell let you me this, bring this man. all up. I will tell you this, beer man. I, will I don't know who was here first. I, I will try to get some stouts <laughs> and, uh, so I could drink some stouts. And mix them up again. That was a freaking amazing. Yeah, show. I would. I I'm gonna con we're yeah. continuing that. So yeah, that was fun. Okay. That was a good. Let's go. That was fun. Yeah, off air we'll talk about it. But um, appreciate you guys. As Alex says, appreciate you, man. And we're gonna have an out. We're gonna have uh, Alex do his out thing. Go ahead and do that shit, man. Have yeah. Thanks, yeah. Chad. Yeah. Thanks, Chad. I'm gonna start doing that uh, with the Beer Man channel too, and Andrew. So yes, we all love it. Out to the Beer Man, <laughs> and we will see you all on the next live stream and next video. This is Beer Master signing out. Yeah.